Yeah. Believe it or not, you have been on. Um, I, I posted this all the time. So every time we've had a meeting, either um, on Zoom or in here, it's been posted on the website. We have a digital footprint of us. Yeah. So like the last meeting, I think you missed it, Dick. Yes, I did. Um, it was. I wasn't ill either. That's okay. I hope you were having fun. Um, it was. <laughs> it was. I had to post that on um, the website, and then we had some meetings just by Zoom. Um, you know, like uh, that night we had snowstorm and everything. Mm -hmm. We would we met by uh, Zoom. Those were all posted on the website. Good. 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 All right, so I guess this is it. We'll call the meeting to order at the, uh, I have 605. Audience of citizens and none. Have it, has everybody been able to read the minutes of the previous meeting? Yes? yes. No? So we're going to have to do it? No. Huh? So uh, I'll entertain a motion to accept them as read. So I'm sorry, but Mr. Benson can't um, do that because he's absent. Oh, I read the minutes. You weren't at the meeting. I know. Withdraw my motion to accept. Uh, Somebody. Stephen, make the motion. Any I'll second. second. Uh, okay. All business. Steve, public grounds report, please. Okay. Public grounds report. Um. First off, the, we had a couple of cemeteries that were not being properly mowed by the cemetery contractor. We reached out to him the latter part of last week and had some time choice words for him. He was in this week and has corrected all the deficiencies throughout most of the cemeteries throughout town and we will stay on him continuous throughout the year. Um, there you. were three in question, right? Yes. Thank you very much. The old section of Wilcox? Yep. Um, Denison. Denison on Farmington Avenue. And that way. Yeah, it looks way better. Yes. Yeah. Stands up. You know, on yeah. yep. <laughs> um, so then you brought us into the, into the budget. Talk about the budget. Does that go into our business as well? Or under my report? Go ahead. Perfect. Okay, so Charlie and I have been going back and forth of how much money is left in the budget. Um, through contractual services, we had twenty nine. We had twenty thousand dollars adopted for this fiscal year. So far, between New Britain Fence and Distinct Tree Care, we've spent eighteen thousand nine hundred and seventy one dollars, which leaves us a balance of one thousand and twenty nine dollars. We still have five thousand dollars left in maintenance and repair for the year, and the estimate to put the Strayley wildflower or hydro seed the wildflowers on the bank at Denison is between twenty five and three grand. That should pretty much conclude the parks and grounds report. I have attached a copy of all the receipts and invoices to date. Not in chronological or, or sorry, Dave. So we have five thousand dollars left of the spray, which would be anywhere from twenty-five to three thousand. So <clears throat> ledge is done as far as tree work right now. The stumps are gone. Um, somebody went in there too. Did your guys go in there and think there's a couple that were hangers that were down? Yeah. So it doesn't really look that bad because I took uh, one of the new kids on the Veterans Commission. He's doing the flags actually tonight. He wants to do them with his kids. So I let him do that with those smaller cemeteries. But I noticed when I brought him over there yesterday, Right, there's some hangers. They're gone. I think when they ripped the fence out, they went. No, it was after that. Oh, it had to be. Maybe it was somebody else. Out. But we're still going to go in there next year or after July and go in through Harenko's property and wax some more stuff, right? That's the plan. Okay. And then that cemetery, as far as tree trimming, will be done. Denison is pretty much done except for our friends, our neighbors. Um, 
Uh, uh, Dunham is in good shape. Beckley was in good shape. Spruce Brook, what'd you do there, man? You clean that right out, man. That thing is beautiful. Somebody's cutting the grass. Oh, yeah. No, the guy called and says, hey, do you mind if I take the trees down along the back edge? The owner? The property owner? Yeah, absolutely. Go right ahead. There was a fence there. He yeah. took that down. Yeah, nope. it's, it's, it's his property. Yeah. You know, he just needed to access and drive on a little bit of the cemetery. I'm like, go ahead. Take down whatever you want. Uh, he cleaned it up. Nice. They did. Really? Yeah. 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 I went, well, I when I was right. taking Dean around, you know, I said, we might as well put this one flag in so you don't have to come all the way over here. And I went, oh, oh that's shit. Good. And that thing looks nice. Yeah. The only... The people who bought Eddie Haber's house, yeah. they kind of like that bumper. So that's why we've always left the bumper. Well, you know, maybe one day we'll talk about putting a fence around that. We dress it up nice and nice. Because if we do own that property, right? Something to think about in the future, as long as we're fencing. I think we'll, I think we'll address it right up. So what options do we have about spending that 5000 dollars Well, I, under new business, I would entertain a motion that would spray it, and then that's done. It's our side of the cemetery. Then we got to get a hold of our buddies next door. Is there a yeah? Totally. That's that's the impression we're under. They said if we want to prevent, I think you had spoken as well. If, if you want to prevent all the the weeds, the erosion, the erosion, and the bushwhacking and everything else from coming up from year to year. If you get out there and you spray it now, and they do this for every source and a lot of other um, environmental friendly people, that it seems to come back every year and it keeps growing and growing. Uh, this becomes a beautiful wildflower event. So if we delay doing that a year, we, we might lose out. But my thought process was maybe we should do the fence at Christian Lane. Uh, I'm, I'm, what was that quote? Do you know? uh, it was, uh, I don't know what the footage is on that. I don't think there's enough money for that. Okay. Right. Not to do both. But okay. July 1st is right around the corner. Yeah. And then we can really get into some serious fencing. When we bring it up on the new business, I'll give my two cents. Okay. We don't have new business on the, on the thing, so I would say that if you want to do something direct um, because we'll talk about it after the meeting. But if you want to direct um, public works to go ahead and to, um, you know, spray, just direct them. Because new business isn't listed, we can't. Well, let's, uh, well, I'll direct you, Steve, to uh, use that twenty-five to $3,000 of our $5,000 to take care of that. And that cemetery will be pretty much complete, except for us fighting with Worthington Water. Okay. okay. And we're all in consensus with that. So it's good tonight. Because right? yeah. we don't want to lose that bank. Like Stephen said, it looks so nice there now. Yeah. And we have pictures only that you forgot. Later. Get them later. Get them later. And only, and only if we, only if we could if we could somehow lop off those two hangers, the the limbs over the river, we need a boat. Oh, we got we power. We'll see. We'll see. Sometimes see how it ventures. So well, him and I were going to shitty up here. Yeah. <laughs> I was afraid his leg would come off. No, he wants to shitty up, but yeah. you got to take your leg off. <laughs> Use that in the river would be a trouble. And then somebody's got to stand there with a 9 1 on your phone, so they got to do it one. <laughs> I left my leg in work place. <laughs> I don't think we should go there. It's a recording. <laughs> what about the first one? I think they sold it. No, no, no. Who's that? Jake? You got some. Burlow's got that fire. They still got that bucket truck with somebody else. Yeah, we're taking it with us. Yeah, with a chain spot. Here you go. Done. It's a hundred footer. They might be able to reach that. Worst thing to do ask. Yeah, by the way, I took off at one fifteen this afternoon to go to the start. What was that? Oh, you came on that session? I had I had no idea what was going on. And then I talked to Chesler earlier. He said he was watching the funeral. And, uh, 
Oh, you didn't go on purpose. No, oh, no, yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I was going to pick up Dylan. I got, I got down to Cromwell and I went to jump on northbound exit, the entrance. There's a trooper there. Off on the side. What's this? Get up on the highway, bridge over Route 9. Oh my God, who's going to stick it up on? Rolling truck. Huge, huge. American flag. Cromwell was on the next. Um, Prom, no, Cromwell was in, uh, the bridge over 7272. Berlin was on in time. And then Cromwell, New, uh, went Rocky Hill, Wintersfield, Glastonbury, all the way up to Hall. Like, uh, incredible. Then when I came back, the position was going very well. It was a pretty much red line. Except for thousands of people. I watched the news quick because there were thousands of people. How am I going to do this? Yeah. Huh? There she is. Hi. It's my fault. She had the wrong link. She had the wrong link. Oh man, that's gonna be taken out of your face. I too. didn't realize we were in person this week, or I would have just shown up. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we were uh photos of Dennis and Summer Day. Mm -hmm. Who took me? I did. Excellent job. You should have changed course, Charles. You should have gone. I should have done it. Yeah, I know. So, Risa, did you get a chance to go by the cemetery and see all the trimming they did? I did. It looks great. Doesn't it? And it looks while so good. You were, while you were missing in action, we, uh, we're having Steve get the, the people uh, that did all the trimming. They're going to spray it with wildflowers. So that oh. the wheat don't grow back up and erosion, and uh, um, and we might get the fire department. There's one or two leaners there that th those guys couldn't get. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a challenge: who can get that, knock that down. <laughs> All right, that's you fantastic. Know, have to deal with McDonald's. <laughs> Four piece or six piece. <laughs> okay, so everybody saw the photos. Then we're good with that, right? All right, Andrew Helms Eagle Scout project. That's the one that I told you guy he wants to do three of the cemeteries and go in and take the sumac down and spice some of the stones and stuff like that. 
So he had sent me an email a week ago Sunday. And I guess he asked, had to, he asked me first. I said, yes, it was okay. So I guess now he has to go to the Boy Scouts of America Council to find out if they can do it. And uh, then he'll come before us. As far as the gates at uh, Ledge, um, I, have, I, I was supposed to see this lad Saturday uh, when we did um, the flags at Maple, because we had 35 scouts open, 550 flags, 35 minutes, we were in and out of here. Uh, and he didn't show up. So as far as I know, it's still on. But, so uh, I'm just waiting to hear from those guys. Doesn't he have to come in here and make a pitch to us and head to the council? Yeah. Okay. No, he has to make, he made the pitch to us already by email. He has to go to his council. Now he has to go to his council and right. say how he's going to do it. Who's going to volunteer? You know, who's going to supply materials? Yada yada yada. Then he comes back to us, and we have to agree on it, right? And then, then it goes before the council, so he gets it, it have later to go to on. Town council. Oh, he gets a pro so he gets a proclamation, yeah. so that he gets his badge. Yes. Yes. So what we'll that will be when he completes everything. Um, the the uh, town manager's office will be notified. And then they can go to the council for the uh, proclamation, you're right. Okay. But that is, is very different than what it was before. So the new town manager has changed the procedure where because you're the one who, um, this group is the one that handles the cemetery, um, the Eagle Scouts only, or potential Eagle Scouts, only have to come to you. They don't have to go to the town council anymore. Makes it easier. Okay. So we'll just wait. No news is good news, I guess. Um, the collected cemetery account. That's the grant we got for 3,200 and change, was it? So that has to be completed. Do you want to talk about that? Sure. So uh, Jim Mahoney has kind of spearheaded the whole entire thing. He sent us out the application and everything that needs to be filled out properly. Um, I'm pretty sure with Jim, Kate, and myself, we'll figure out how to fill it out. And it can only be used as at ledge cemetery. Right? It's for 3,500. Oh, yeah. So right around 3,500. So whatever you guys choose to spend that, those funds on, and I think they have to be spent by 2022 or something like that. Yeah, two years. Yeah, almost two years. So that would be up to your decision. We just have to make sure it falls in the criteria that's required, and then they'll send us a check. Criteria. Um, like, the, like a, replacing the fence. Replacing the stones, the stones yeah. redoing the pillars. There are certain things that it speaks to that qualify, and certain things that don't qualify. It's got to be part of sprucing up the yeah. cemetery. Well, we know we got the fence and the gates we could do there. And the yeah. sprucing up the building. Oh, so the gates, yeah. 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 So that'll get spent, no problem. And we have all oh, next year too to spend it. So it's not use it or lose it. I'm sure Jim will stumble across another one and find that too. Yeah. I'm, I'm not suggesting that the that the uh, Evil Scout project is going to collapse, but should we uh, should we go out and get a get a quote to uh, do those um, to the, the two pillars? But the mason that did the stone wall at Dunham, would he be interested in that? You could use him. You could also use the mason that just did rebuilt the stone wall at one of the three miles. Oh, where did he reach? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Nice job. Who, who did that? Tad Masonry. From local. Local. Yeah. He, local. he did all the work at Patch Park. Oh. Amazing. You want to get in touch with him? And like it's just interesting just just to have a you know and i'll reach out to america as well because i think they both do great work oh the guy that did the work on yeah. would be a bad idea to get a couple quotes yeah, merrick did merrick did dunham and tad did mccotchy and well, and, and you know what in that quote straightening out the gates and powder coating them too okay i'll see if they did because a couple of them are oh, bad yeah, he does. and they're all rusty so straighten those out 
And uh, so it's repair and replace. Well, we want a powder coat. Yeah, just in case you're right, just in case it falls through. Well, I think that's a big project he took on, right? That's a, that, that's a, that's a, that's a big project. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. And, and the money's there, but the, the money, it's going to go. I don't want to, I don't want to deflate his enthusiasm. Oh, but it's a backup plan. Yeah, it is. It's, I think that's a great idea is to just have our ducks in a row. And then if we want to use them for perhaps a different project, masonry project on the cemeteries, it's, it's a good thing to have in our pocket. So just to refer back, it was January 21st, 2021. Um, and the, it's $3,332. Um, it can be used for the, uh, it has to be used within the two years. So it's 23, January 23. Oh yeah, we'll blow that out. It's gonna take you that long? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so that's a plan. That's that's a good plan. Okay. Uh, I drafted a letter. I put something together to send to um, Mr. Dunham's niece. Is it niece? She's a niece. And I took pictures of the fence at Dunham. And I asked Kate to uh, drop a nice letter from the cemetery committee to explain to them what we did with the pictures and all that and how we paid for that. And it didn't come from the money that they sent us. And I believe she has a rough draft of that or? Yeah. No, so what I sent out to you yeah. was what you saw, it's a yeah. rough draft. And then when you and I spoke yesterday, yeah. um, uh, Charlie wants to have it where we explain in the letter that uh, the town paid for the fencing. So the letter will be very similar to what was sent out to you before. It's just that I will include another sentence that says we, you know, it was a town that paid for the fence and, and we appreciate everything that you've done. That's great. Yeah. And also in that letter, if you don't remember, I, I had Kate write in there that if they had any ideas yep. that they would like to see at that cemetery, to please contact us. If they, you know. I doubt it, but it's a nice I doubt it too, but yeah. you, you know what? It's their money. You know, and the pictures, I mean, when they see it, I mean, that, that fence is absolutely gorgeous. $16,000. I wasn't $16,000. So what? No, it wasn't. It was 155 feet. No, no, no. The no, no, no. The no the oh, the ramp. Oh, yeah. The family was. Yeah, we still got 11000 or something like that. I haven't checked. Yeah, 11 or 12, because all we did was trim it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that pretty much covers everything that I have. So we're still going to have about two thousand dollars. One thousand or twenty nine. But you said we had five thousand. We do. The five, there are two different accounts. One is contractual services, and one is maintenance and repair. And then next year we'll have five thousand in fencing. So it, there's very. We'll talk. Okay. Oh, well, if nobody has any, we, next time I guess we got to put new business in there, right? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, all the secrets. Well, I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. Oh, can you do that? He wasn't here, but. <laughs> he was here. Second. Stephen seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Not opposed. <laughs> Next time we're here. All right. That's on the 15th of July.